Hello. Welcome to Stories in Time. My name is Eloise Schottler. I'm here to tell you a story. Yesterday, I went up to Starbucks on Connecticut Avenue down in Chevy Chase. It's my favorite place. I have to tell you that right now. I love that place. It's an outside outside porch and they have new tables and new chairs so if you want to try them out it's our neighborhood so you may find that to be really pleasant and I was sitting there and I started just looking around that's my neighborhood I've lived in this neighborhood 49 years and you know after 49 years you don't check on everything like you do when you've just been there a few months or a couple of years. So I was looking around and I looked up and there were cranes overhead. Now that wasn't a surprise to me because a year ago on the corner there had been a very familiar place, the Chevy Chase supermarket. It was sold and it was torn down. And for months, they dug a big hole. And then that's all that was there. And now they're building. They're building there. And the corner is surrounded with sort of a fabric-y looking fence with a picture of what they're building, apartments. I haven't paid too much attention to it. I had a shock when they really did finally go down with the Chevy Chase supermarket. People had talked about that for many years. I never thought that it would really happen. And the reason I didn't think it would really happen was because I didn't want it to. I did not want it to happen, but it did. So I looked up into the sky, very pretty blue sky with white clouds, and here were two arms from two cranes reaching out overhead across the street. And it made me think about how it had been in 1970. No cranes then because it was already built. No cranes. It had been a steady, steady settled grocery store. Well, when we moved out here, I was 34 years old. I had three children in schools, three schools nearby where we were living. And they had started their new schools there. Um, it was good, it was good. We were happy to be there. We had lived on the other side of town out in Prince George's County. My husband left the Air Force, which was okay, was fine. And he had his own private practice downtown. So you could say we were starting our new life. And it was beginning here in Chevy Chase, Maryland. The first time I went into the Chevy Chase supermarket, I was startled. Startled. Number one, it was so sweet and clean and it smelled so good. And it was all prissed up because it had chandeliers, lighted chandeliers from the ceiling. Believe me, I had never known of a grocery store, which is what this was. It was just high nape, you know, it was a good place to go. They had beautiful meat and a back room that had lovely vegetables and they were all arranged within the, the places that they had set out for it. And everybody was so friendly. How are you, madam? Would you like something? Do you know what you need today? And after about a year, well, Miss Shuttler, how are you? Are you okay today? Yes, I'm okay today. And what do you want? And so they knew me by name. I was part of this neighborhood. It's hard to give up the familiar things. That's how I feel about stuff like that anyway. I like for things to stay the same, but change has to come, doesn't it? 
So I sat over at the Starbucks. I had my mini fruit drink, and I was sitting in the sun, and I was thinking about the change. At one time, this was not a porch area where you could go out and eat. It was McIntyre's, um, what do they call those things? Yes, it was a hardware store, McIntyre's. And across the street from there was Packett's Drug Store. They had a soda fountain. There was a dress shop. There was a place where you could get your glasses fixed or get new glasses. And then, of course, there was always the cleaners. It was a little village, and the big place was the Chevy Chase supermarket. After a time, it must have been two, three years maybe, two of my children worked at the chapel, at the Chevy Chase supermarket. My son carried, gar carried uh, bags out to the cars. He did other things. One of my daughters became a checker, became a checker at the cashiers. And in that place, there was a second floor in the first place on the line. And my youngest daughter went to work on the third floor there as an assistant administrator. Very good. So we had all these connections with that corner, very large corner, very good parking lot, people that you knew and that you keep seeing. Do you have that? with your story, with your store. The next thing is I watch those cranes swing around. You know, they're long arms, aren't they? They're reaching out for things. And I started thinking about what had been there. What were we? Who were we? How do you meet in a new neighborhood? And all of a sudden, it's not a new neighborhood. It's where you live. It's absolutely where you live. And you see the people as it changes. Now, when we first moved there, that little shopping area, Chevy Chase Supermarket, across Manor Road, across that street, was a forested area. Trees growing thick on a very wide piece of property. I had heard people saying that they knew that there was a company that owned that land, but they thought it would always be a forest, a forested area. And people would say, you know, we know there are deer in there, but we've never done a count or anything. There are just a lot of deer in that area. And then it came around. Maybe 20 years later, it came around that they took down the trees and the deer were let loose so that they could build this whole corner into beautiful houses. A new neighborhood was going up right across the street from the Chevy Chase supermarket. At first, I didn't like that at all. I'll just tell you the truth, I didn't. I had liked it when it was forested, when you could see them, and I didn't see any deer. And yet I had heard people talking as they waited to pay for their groceries. You know, I saw 10 deer out there last night, or I saw some other extravagant figure of deer where are they going? They're not back over there. There's nothing there but the new houses, the framework, the work that they're doing. Well, it soon became clear because, oh, I would say it was maybe a half a mile away. There was the Audubon, and they had property around them, and they had a, fa a fence that held things in, and they welcomed they welcomed nature. That's what they were all about. They well, and they still are all about it. And they waited 
and they looked and they took the dare in and that's where those guys disappeared to. For a while they disappeared to the Audubon and then they were on the street at night running from yard to yard. They loved certain kinds of plants and you could so tell that they had been there one, two, or five, or six had been there visiting your yard because the hydrangeas, they were just snipped, perfectly snipped with those little straight deer teeth. They just pulled it right off. But that was an interesting period for our neighborhood. I always remember that. It was an interesting period. And then, like any neighborhood, we saw people sell their houses. Children grow up. If their parents were still there, they came back with their wives and their children, and they played in the yards. And we had, for some period of time, not many children waiting for the school bus because we had to grow those children up before they'd be ready to go back to school. The more I thought about my neighborhood, the more I thought about it, I made notes, and I thought about it, and I thought, this is not enough for me. I'm going to have to think more about this place on Priorly Road where I have lived for 49 years. Have you thought about your neighborhood? Are you a new neighbor? Have you just been there a few months or a year? Do your children go to the schools nearby? Our stories are in our neighborhoods. If you have a story of your neighborhood, I hope you'll send it to us here at MMC TV. Let us tell it for you or call somebody for you to tell your story and we'll have more information about our larger neighborhood here. Thank you for listening. I look forward to coming back with more about our neighborhood.